for predicting whether the counterterrorism laws are necessary for Sri Lanka. Because in 2009, Sri Lanka declared itself that, yeah. In 2009, the Sri Lanka declared itself that it has got rid of terrorism. So where is the terrorism? Why should we have this counter-terrorism law? And the CTA, as far as we are concerned, is uh, the, uh, the change to constitution, uh, sixth amendment of the constitution, which prohibit anybody declaring uh, like uh, a separate state. So that, or talking about it, or having a discussion. This is against the United Nations, uh, the first article itself. So, and, and the freedom of speech are uh, questioned here. And who this terrorism laws has been used against, majority, is against Tamils, who have declared in 1976 I, for a nation for themselves, a free nation, Tamil. So after that, in 1983, J.R. Javadna with the two-third majority changed the constitution to bring in the presidential constitution. And then he became the most powerful person in the, in the country, as well as he put in the uh, chapter, sorry, the, uh, uh, the amendment to, sixth amendment to the constitution. So from 1978, uh, the terrorism laws or the emergency laws has come in, then it changed into PTA. PTA uh, has been so draconian that there are uh, people still under suspicion for two, nearly 25 years lavishing in jails. And no question is asked. And how many people have been tortured and, uh, and uh, killed, we don't know. So this uh, Prevention of Terrorism Act and this counter-terrorism laws has been uh, used to really do genocide in Sri Lanka. So that is the reason for this counter-terrorism law because nobody is questioned. Everybody is above the law. That uh, the counter-terrorism law allow the police, army and others, other perpetrators of uh, uh, crimes against humanity, to hide behind this law so nobody cannot come and testify. All the PTA cases have been uh, the, the, the evidence have been obtained by torture. So this torture, those people convicted of this uh, so-called crimes, uh, the evidence is obtained by torture. So to torture the person to the extent that they will agree that, oh, I am a member of this prohibited organization. Oh, I am, a, I did this one. I helped this person. It's just on the duress and the thing. So this, rather than that, the police or anybody don't have any other evidence. So the PTA has been used like that. But uh, CTA is, is putting not only uh, the suspect, but anybody who is suspected of saying about, I want freedom, I want to uh, live in a free, uh, freedom for my community, or uh, a peaceful uh, assembly. So in that case, uh, the, the CTA, is, is it necessary? Because if there is a terrorism going on in Sri Lanka, then there should be a counter-terrorism law. But for the last 10 years, there is no terrorism in Sri Lanka. So can the government, first of all, where are the terrorists in Sri Lanka? That is my question. Is So why do you need a counter-terrorism law? If you don't have terrorists in Sri Lanka, who, who is a terrorist then? If there is any bombs going on, is anybody killing anybody for the last 10 years from 2009 to 2019? So why these terrorism laws are necessary? It is there to suppress the rates of terrorists. That is what is the main thing that this terrorism law start to suppress the Tamils because they want a separate state and they want to live in a peaceful country that is permitted by United Nations Convention and all the articles under political rights, cultural rights, and uh, economic rights and social rights. So if they are suppressing 
if uh, uh, this thing so how can we uh, how, what the united nation unhrc and others are doing about this counter terrorism research uh, so why the my question is the main question is that do we have to have a counter terrorism as long as there is no terrorism in sri lanka if sri, if, if government can prove there is a terrorism then that's uh, that is then we can talk about counter terrorism laws at present there is no terrorism in sri lanka so there should not be counter terrorism law and the pta had to be abolished as promised within 3 months by in this floor in here the at that time the foreign minister of the sri lanka government uh, mangala sarvavira promised that within 3 months i will get it up for uh, uh, prevention of terrorism act but now three and a half years have gone nothing has happened so an osl report says that prevention of terrorism act had to be removed but it has not happened so sri lanka is floating uh, everybody and suppressing terrorists uh, that is what this counter terrorism act or any terrorism act are used to suppress terrorists so i think it is time the united nation act and safeguard tamils and their rights thank you very much uh, so we have some spare time left um, we are open for questions and now i will leave the floor to you 